This is my Delta Gold Business Sky Miles credit card, and it's actually way better than I expected. In fact, it is so nice that we actually kept it twice, which is really just a bad joke, but you guys know that recently I was thinking about even canceling both mine and wife's Delta cards, right? And part of the reasoning for that was the whole overhaul that Delta just did across their entire credit card lineup. But I just used our Delta cards in one of the most unexpected ways that has actually somewhat changed my mind and my perspective for the entire points of miles game. Yeah, it's kind of that serious and not as talked about, so let's see exactly what I did. So in case you've been living under a tarmac, you make one more joke and I'm leaving. But Delta kind of completely overhauled their entire credit card lineup, including the introduction of things like Resi credits, rideshare credits, and now Delta stays, aka hotel credits. And if you're also unfamiliar, this specific card, the Delta Gold Business Sky Miles credit card, comes with an annual credit of $150 towards Delta Stays. But Delta Stays is a hotel booking platform which uses Expedia to book said hotels. So right off the bat, if for some reason you hate third-party bookings, you hate Expedia, maybe this isn't the credit for you. But for me, I don't necessarily have any issue with it, so if you look right here, looking down the list, you actually have a ton of options. Expedia basically has the sum total of all hotels you can pretty much book in life. There are Hyatt's, Hilton's, Marriott's, all those big hotels you would stay at normally, but then there are also some other hotels, some interesting boutique hotels hotels, sometimes unique hotels that have a little bit more personality, right? A little touch of uniqueness to them, which you can't necessarily find with those bigger brands. So for somebody like myself who was going to take a small road trip to visit my good friend Calby NG, I was trying to figure out, okay, which Hyatt, which Hilton am I going to stay at this time around? And he said, hey, somewhere in Knoxville, there's something called the Ancient Lore Village where you actually live like a hobbit in a hobbit house. <laughs> and I said, that's crazy, but I'm not going to pay cash for it. But then I remembered, Wait a second, my Delta Gold business credit card gives me $150 credit towards Delta Stays. Let's see by some chance that this Hobbit Village is actually on Delta Stays. So after a little bit of searching, what did I find? Yeah, it's on there. <laughs> So for somebody like myself who has a wife who read all the Lord of the Rings book, read The Hobbit, loves the movies, heck even calls herself a Hobbit, you already know I'm trying to kill two birds with one stone, use my Delta Stays credit, and fulfill her dreams of finally being a Hobbit. To which I found it was about $330 for one night. Which again, yes, the Delta Stays credit of $150 does count towards this hotel. Or... Hobbit hole. So what once was a $330 maybe semi out of reach hotel now becomes a lot more manageable $180 just out of pocket after taxes and fees, which apparently has acres of properties where there's archery, there's axe throwing, there's feasts that you throw with the community, there's fireplaces, a million different things. And in this case, that's an experience I would have never even thought I would have been able to do if I was so focused on my Hilton points, my Hyatt points, my Marriott points, just trying to stay at these bigger brands with my points of miles. But having this new credit and learning about Delta Stays and Expedia bookings for this credit, thinking like, hmm, maybe booking through some portals is not necessarily the worst thing. Which is like, discovering these new and unique and boutique places might actually outweigh all of the downsides of booking third party because we hear a lot of people have issues canceling, you can't get people on the phone, they give you the ring around, like call the hotel, but then call Expedia. It's a whole big issue. For the most part, the people who have the least amount of issues, rain or shine, they're going to be able to make it to that hotel stay, which is usually someone that I am. Which you might say, like, Anthony, $180 out of pocket is nothing to sneeze at this is why i'm in the points of miles game so i can get that down to zero dollars and i hear you i'm with that so let's look a little bit further what other hotel stays and boutique hotels are out there that are a lot closer to that 150 dollars stay credit which look like here you could still book your same hilton's your hyatt's your marriott's but there's also some log cabins here and some other unique hotels here like right on the mountainside with an amazing view and since we're going to be staying a couple of nights we actually decided to book a second hotel which happens to be this one right here which is called the wayback which if you look it's a four-star hotel very nice pictures and if you look right here i actually got it on a discount so for somebody like myself who has a Delta account, they actually deducted the cost by 20%. They gave me a 20% discount just by being a Delta member. So for a stay that was around $180 was now discounted because of my membership down to about $157 per night, to which I used my wife's Delta Gold Business Sky Miles credit card and her $150 credit, which basically this hotel completely out of pocket was only $7 to book 
and should be a very, very nice experience. So we have the experience of Ancient Lore Village, $180 out of pocket, but then we also have just a nice, unique boutique hotel that is not a part of any bigger brand for just $7 out of pocket because we hold this specific credit card. But then you might be saying like, Anthony, is it worth getting this credit card for just that credit alone? And so that I say maybe, but there are so many other things on this credit card that I'm gonna show you right now. Wow, it worked. I've been trying that for like hours now. So if you guys have been following the channel for a little bit, about a year ago, I actually signed up for this specific credit card out of a purely greed play because I needed 75,000 points to actually book my entire flight for me and my wife to go to the Las Vegas meetup with all my fellow friends in this space. And the three things that really attracted me to this card, which was one, it's a business card, so it's not going to be affecting my 524 status. Number two is it had a welcome offer of exactly 75,000 bonus sky miles after spending a few thousand dollars in the first three months, which is exactly what I needed to make that Vegas flight completely for free. And number three, which is almost the biggest part, which is the annual fee is actually waived for the first year. That's right. I have not paid an annual fee on this card yet. And comparing it to today, if you look at my referral link down in the pinned comment, it actually says you're going to be getting 80,000 Delta Sky Miles after spending $6,000 in the first six months of opening the card. So about $1,000 every single month to get 80,000 Sky Miles. And in my experience, using those 75,000, 80,000 Sky Miles for my Vegas trip ended up being about $1,300 to maybe $1,500 in value. So if you're taking that as gospel, $1,500 for $6,000 worth of spend is about a 25% return on your spend. But then also that same benefit still reigns supreme. You still get a waived annual fee for the first year, $0 annual fee for a full year, but then it's $150 for every single year after that. Which as soon as I saw that raise from $99 to $150, I thought it was going to immediately cancel. But then using this Delta Stays credit has kind of opened my eyes and is maybe having me rethink that. Because not only if you're able to use the full brunt of that Delta Stays credit and hopefully you could find the hotel for $150 exactly, you're pretty much even on that annual fee. But we all know that that's not necessarily the case and for the most part you're spending more than $150 for a hotel unless you're really trying to go budget with this card. So then what else can offset those annual fees? So if you're not looking to cancel the card after the first year, so this way you never pay an annual fee, and if you're trying to figure out other ways to recoup that value, well, here you go. Some of the main benefits that I've loved with this card so far is you actually get a Delta 15% off on your flights. Meaning if you book a flight completely in Delta Sky Miles, you're gonna be getting 15% off that price. So if there's a flight that you're looking to book that's 100,000 Sky Miles, well, now you can consider it 85,000. You take off 15,000 for the Delta take off 15%. Which if you're gonna be flying Delta anyway and you're gonna be using Sky Miles, you could effectively bake that into the annual fee. 15,000 Sky Miles saved might be just worth a conservative 100. $150 in value, which again, recoups that annual fee on one flight like that. Another thing I found incredibly beneficial was the check bags completely for free. And it's funny because it says your first check bag is free because if you look at the fine print, it actually says up to nine people in your reservation. So if you have a huge family, me and eight of my wives can all get their check bags completely for free. And usually check bags are around 50, $60 each. So for in that crazy example, nine people, I mean, you're essentially saving $450 per flight, which I don't know what size your family is. For me, it's just me and her. So I'm saving about $100 per flight so we don't have to pay for our check bags. That alone also recoups the annual fee fairly, fairly easily, right? Another thing, priority boarding. Now, of course, for the most part, a lot of people are booking main cabin and with main cabin, you're able to board the flight a little bit faster than the proletariat that aren't booking main cabin, right? Although nowadays everybody books main cabin and above, but this card actually bumps you up main cabin, thus making putting your check bags above your seat way, way easier when there's less people on the plane. And another weird benefit that really I don't care to mention, but it's spend $10,000 and you get a $200 flight credit, which is totally not worth it. <laughs> but having gone through this experience with this Delta car and using Delta stays and finding these really unique hotels you wouldn't be able to find normally has really opened my eyes to how we actually play the points and miles game to begin with. And of course, if you're interested in this Delta Gold Business Sky Miles credit card, you could scan the QR code at the bottom of your screen right now. And of course, that's gonna take you to my referral link. And if you do, I salute you and I appreciate you to no end. But hope to see you in this next video. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you.